And I think that I figured out what the problem was. Facebook was um, having a hard time finding a signal, and so we were having some issues going on. Let's see if this is any better. So let me know if you can hear me. Uh, let me know when you come on. I want to I want to hear from you. I want to make sure this is a good experience. Um, frustrates me when it's not a good experience. Looks like Walter's come on. Now we're starting to get the things that we're supposed to have happen. So Betty's on. Good. Now I'm starting to see things. Before I couldn't see anything. And that's always frustrating to me because I need to be able to talk. Yes, good, John. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know that, that things are working well because I want to make sure that I always think that it's important that these uh, Facebook lives be a really good experience for the people that are there. And I appreciate my audience so much. I appreciate you coming on, joining me, uh, listening carefully, making comments, doing the things that you do. So I really do care about that. So let's go back over this again. On Tuesday, I introduced you to Orange Pavo. was not available on Monday, but on Tuesday introduced you to Orange Pavo, which is a, uh, a an organization that's committed to doing good for a particular population here in Huntsville, Alabama. We'll be talking about that a lot in the future. And so um, that's, that's another one of those doing good kind of things that are uh, very important to change your world that begins with you finding the place where you can do the most good. And so that's the first thing. Second thing, yesterday at the coffee shop, I began to talk about at the coffee good morning Warren began to talk at the coffee shop about how you do good with your business um, and I used a little free trade sign outside in front of the coffee shop to remind people that that sometimes what you do in the process of doing business gives you the opportunity to do good for other people and so always so I try to get done Tried to do this early so that I won't get the train involved in the background. Apologize for that. Hang with me for a second. It goes by pretty quickly. So I want to make sure that you all can hear me. So I talked about doing good with your business. And we had a long conversation and I had a lot of comments came in later about how important it is to support local business because that local business uh, is the way that you do good. It feeds more people. It, it, it makes the money turn over more quickly in the, in the local economy. It stays there. It does all those things that you need it to do as opposed to the big box stores and the other places where you can go uh, and not be able to do those same things. And so that's extremely important. Now today, Today, I want to do one thing today that's really going to uh, ruffle my feathers just a little bit, okay? Uh, I see something happening, and I have a lot of people that follow me that are, are involved in internet marketing, and many of you on this call right now are involved in some place, either now or on the replay, involved in, in internet marketing in some way. And so... Um, I watch people spend massive amounts of money buy the same things over and over and over again because this one has a little twist here this one has a little twist here and so stepping out of my role and I'm doing something that makes me a little uncomfortable and I'm gonna tell you what it is uh, I, 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 I watch this happen. I, I do this all the time. I evaluate software for, for, for people and, and, um, and do webinars on how the software works. And what I discover is the same people attend each of those and the same people buy the stuff. And then I just did a survey yesterday. I was amazed at how many people do that and never use what they buy. Hmm. That's not good. We don't need to be collectors. That's not our that's not our goal. So today what I'm going to do, I'm just going to talk about this right now, is uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link right there at the top so that you can see that. That link says, uh, that link will take you to a, to a page, a sales page. It's a sales page, just so you know. So it, it's a page where you can opt into uh, getting a phone call from me or getting a phone call with me or we can talk about how to get how to, how to get vaccinated for the shiny object syndrome. People have been asking me to do this for a long time um, because what happens is people start buying things because that's gonna make them make money online. And then, and then along comes the next marketer and his pitch and his thing and this is what it's gonna do for you and this is gonna help you make money online. And, and, and people collect that stuff and they never do anything with it. 
and they get it they never open it up they don't know what to do next they don't know where to go with it they don't know how it works they don't know what to and they're lost so right there opt into that when you finish when you when you put your name and email address in there and hit submit it's going to take you it's exactly right Dan I used to work for a guy who said I've had all the bargains I can afford and I, I always thought that was a great comment you know it, it, it's not a deal if you don't need it and I see people doing that all the time so today in my process of trying to do good and trying to trying to change my world and make it meaningful and a good experience for everybody let's talk about this okay let's talk about it put your name in there put your email address in there and I'm gonna show you how to get vaccinated from the shiny object syndrome all right because it, I, I'm gonna make you a deal I, I'm, I'm gonna give you something in the process of that I'm gonna pitch you you might as well know that but I'm gonna solve the problem because I talked to I sell people I, I've seen a dozen product launches in the last two weeks with numbers that scare me because I see what happens with that so let's take let's let's just let's talk connect with me and let's talk let's see if we can fix this problem you know if, if you have bought a bunch of stuff you don't know what to do with it I'll be glad to walk you through how you do that because that's what I do all right if if you if you got something and and you're you're thinking that you need something else talk to me let's walk through this let's solve this problem permanently let's get inoculated from the shiny object syndrome stop doing this because it's insane and what we have is we have internet marketers selling stuff to other internet marketers and it goes back and forth and back and forth we change the same money all over the time and a whole bunch of you get caught in the process and it never fails that people who've never ever done that will jump in and go wow if I had this, well, if you had that and you weren't ever doing anything with it before, then maybe, maybe, maybe it's time you figured out how to do what you got and made it happen. Because buying the next thing isn't going to make it better for you. It's not going to do it. All right? It goes back to my mantra, sell what you got. And if you're not selling what you got, then it's time to stop buying what you don't need. I'm trying to do good, okay? This is all about doing good. This is all about trying to make a difference and change your world, okay? So, opt in right there, connect with me, we'll talk about it, and we'll find a way to get you inoculated from the shiny object syndrome because there isn't a magic bullet out there. There's not a product that you buy that instantly makes you successful. That's hogwash. If you were not a business coach before, having a tool isn't gonna make you a business coach, right? If you were not successful with Facebook ads before, then buying the next gizmo isn't going to make you successful now. All right, if your product offering was not good before, then putting a nice spin on it isn't going to make the product offering any better. All right, opt in right there. We'll talk, okay? Some of you, Walter, Leslie, some of you are on the other side of the planet, and I understand that. You, you connect with me. We'll find, a way to, we'll find a way to hook up, okay? I can figure that one out. There's a workaround to everything. And sometimes we buy stuff to avoid a workaround. Not a good idea. Okay? Guys, listen. I'm on a bit of a rave today. Today, I'm on, But it's on purpose. I'm watching people who are taking grocery money and buying stuff that they can't use and then later don't know how to use it and wondering, what can I do next? So... If that's you, right there. And I'll be glad to help you out. Hey, Michelle, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. 
remember, this is tough talk because I love you. I really do. And I want to do good. I want to change my world. And even though this is a part of my world, I got to change it. Okay? It's time that we, we got people inoculated. We got people inoculated from the shiny object syndrome. I love you. Have a great day. Do good. I'll talk to you soon.